While we're there, right. Okay, we're on, we're on camera right, right now. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in for Thursday Coffee. This is Sandra LaPlum with Jim Walker. Whitehead Sales, how to have a white hot business without it burning you out. There's a chapter in here about a speeding ticket, but let me equate it to what um, Jim and I will mention over and over again, and that is sports analogies. So, uh, sports analogies. If you're not into sports, know this. There's a difference between reflexive thinking and reflective thinking. So, reflective thinking is knowing that when, as an example, you're playing basketball and you have a ball in your hand. Now, this is just how I was taught when I was little because I wanted to be a lot like my older brother and spend time with him which no older brother on earth wants to do that so that aside me out playing basketball in the winter in Iowa when they started teaching me how to hold the ball how to line the seam up, seam up with my hand the line my hand up with what I was looking at and then how to think about moving my knees, bringing that energy up through my hips. And believe me, these are college students and coaches at camps teaching me how to think deeply, reflective thinking, think deeply about what my body is doing over and over again so that my knees coming up through my hip and then that energy coming up through my back and my arm, and then the release. Now, it's not in the book, but I won a trip to Hawaii by shooting a free throw <laughs> at a Spurs game where they, it, it was way back when David Robinson was still on the court and Charles Barkley. Shout out to Charles Barkley, the friendliest, funnest player ever. And I sat courtside, somebody had put my name in the hat and no one had won anything that year, not a car, not $100,000, not a trip. And they called all the people who were still in the pot and said, if we point, because some people they would call out of the stadium and they wouldn't do it. So they called everyone and said, if we pull your name, will you be prepared to come out? Because we really want to give something away this year. It was a divisional final between, was Barkley with the Suns? I think he was with the Suns at the time, Spurs and the Suns. They pull my name. I am dressed for it that whole week. I was prepared for it. And because I had spent a great deal of my childhood reflecting and reflexing, I actually played the game like a golfer. You gotta hit the ball, you gotta get out and you gotta play at a certain point in time. So you got to think deeply about all this that's going on and then there comes a point in time where you just do it. And that's a lot like sales and working with people. Well, it turned out that they pulled my name and went out there and shot two swish free throws. Now, I'd only practiced a week, but I'd had a lifetime of understanding. you got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. If you don't have a lifetime of understanding and you have other experience, when you get in the ball game of owning your own business and you're in direct sales, whether it's real estate or anything else, you have to think deeply about your process and then be able to ask the right sort of question and predictably know what questions are going to be asked of you. I speak a lot to realtors and help realtors, but this applies in all direct marketing, all direct sales. And that is if you have quality product and uh, price or cost come up consistently. You have to know how to address that and then anytime somebody comes back and says anything to you, you have to have in your mind already the understanding of the five to ten things that are going to be said, nothing changes in our business, and then give them the answer. And that's where scripts, now I'm licensed and you're not, so I gave you, uh, I keep, and I've got scripts at work, but the script that works right now, you didn't think would work a week, two weeks ago when I refined it. Right. Because when a market changes, you, I know deeply about what people are looking for because they're clicking on my ad, they're talking to me, I'm listening to them, I'm transacting business. I hear what they perceive the problem is. So I'm cutting some of those problems off at the pass by 
being excellent at overcoming the objection or the problem in their head at the very beginning. Vacation-itis, delay-itis, I'll think about it-itis, that's fine. But there's a term that's very crass in a lot of businesses. If you generate, you don't have to tolerate. And that diminishes the value of that human in which you're speaking to. Mm -hmm. And it diminishes your value. Don't treat people like a cup. I don't, and we don't do that here. Okay. So the script that are really <clears throat> tightened up, that was very handling a lot of objections up front, that was a little bit shocking for you. Right. But you did it like a great golf coach. When you're correcting somebody's swing, you're getting them to just do it. And then the process proves itself, doesn't it? It did. Surprisingly to me, but it did. Now, what were the elements that scared you about the script? And what were the things that uh, came to fruition that you remember and recall and want to address? Because this just happened within the last 7 to 14 days. Well, the script, at the end of the script, it was just a matter of... Um, have you found uh, the house you're looking for? And as opposed to, like, are you ready to buy? Are you ready to do this, ready to that? It just cut away all the fat. And uh, have you found the house that, that you want to buy? And I thought that that was just too much, too much. And of course, you're not delivering like this. We, no, right. I have right. a dialer, and right. when people answer the phone, you're matching their conversation tone. Now, if it was somebody who was speaking slowly like that, you would speak slowly. Right. If it was somebody who was speaking, <laughs> we, we're not looking to trap anybody into yeah. anything. We just want to be able to hear them well. And if we can deliver that nugget to you this morning, listen carefully, think deeply about your process, and then notice that probably the biggest major mistake that's going on in sales today are agents not being able to... Uh, like in basketball, me, shoot the shot. Or in golf, swing the club. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a boxer, take the swing. But you got to know how to take that swing. But if you're not creating enough business with the automation that I have in my tools, in my business, it allows us to talk to really qualified buyers that are usually generally now about a half a million to a million. I'm closing a deal next week at five million which is turning out to be normal for work, the sort of client that we're working with, the sort of ads that I generate. But if you don't know how to talk to anyone, just talking to everyone doesn't get you there because it's not practice makes perfect, it's... Perfect practice makes perfect. And there we go. We're going to go do that again this morning. Have right. a great day. I